people. My name is Barry Adams. I'm a volunteer at the Steele County Historical Society. We're standing in the Riverside Cemetery in Medford, Steele County, Minnesota, just a stone's throw away from the Strait River. We're at a tombstone marked George P. Sawyer, fell at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, July 2nd, 1863, aged 24 years. I'm holding a few dozen of the letters that George had written to a very special female friend, Helen, also known as Nellie Sanborn. Both George and Nellie were in the first wave of settlers to inhabit Steele County in the early 1850s. Their families moved here from New Hampshire. They settled along the Strait River. The Sawyers, Sanborns, Scribners, Abbots, and Prescotts were the first families around here and they were thriving in 1861 when the Civil War began. George was 22 then and was among the first to sign up. He joined the famous 1st Minnesota Regiment and went off to war in April 1861. The Steele County Historical Society invites you to visit us and examine the letters George wrote to Nellie. He loved the Medford-Clinton Falls area and it's just as evident in his letters his special affection for Nellie. Nellie was 16 when the war broke out. In an 1862 letter, and we've got these at the Historical Society, George wrote, quote, And dearest friend, talking to Nellie, when I think of home, it's of a little house situated in a grove of trees on the banks of the Strait River, known as the residence of Uncle David. That's Nellie's dad. It is to that quiet spot that my thoughts wander often. Since I left it, to act the part of a soldier in this distant land. No other place seems like home to me. To that spot, dear Nellie, I shall direct my steps if God sees fit to spare my life till I am discharged. I think when I get there, I can appreciate the value of home and friendship. George finished quite a few of his letters to Nellie with this phrase, a thousand kisses and many good wishes a famous painting that depicts the 1st Minnesota Regiment at Gettysburg on July 2, 1863, shows some fallen soldiers. George P. Sawyer died there that day. General Hancock said that of that event, no soldiers on any field in this or any country ever displayed grander heroism. Come to the Steele County Historical Society to learn more about George, Nellie, and more than 700 other Civil War soldiers. The Steele County Historical Society's mission is preserving and sharing history today for tomorrow.